Hello everyone, in this video I'll take a look at all the Covenant Plate sets that you'll be able to obtain in Shadowlands. I'll also be showing you all the new back attachments. Now if you're interested in this whole Covenant system, make sure to subscribe to the channel, because I'll be making a separate video talking about what it is, how it works and so on. But anyways, there are 4 Covenants that you can join, the Kyrian and Bastion, the Necro Lords and Maldraxxus, the Nightway and Ardenweal, and last but not least the Benthyr and Revendreth. Each of these Covenants have their own transmog sets that you can obtain, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video, starting with the Kyrians. The Kyrians are angelic beings that carry the souls of the dead, and this is apparent throughout Bastion with the different structures and NPCs. Now I will leave you for a few seconds so you can enjoy the preview before moving on to all the individual pieces. So, I'm not quite sure what to feel about this model, I mean sure, it looks great with the wavy particles at the top, and I see what they were trying to do with it, but I just don't think they pulled it off. It almost looks like you're wearing a can on your head, and well, that's just not very appealing. But let's move on to the shoulders and see if it gets any better. So, the size of this model is perfect, you know when you think about a plate set, you expect big shoulders and a heavy looking set. I mean let's be honest, there's nothing worse than a plate set that looks like it was made from cloth, but luckily that's not the case with this one. So yeah, the model is actually pretty good with a lot of small details on each shoulder pad, but the thing I like the most is the wavy blue particles coming from within the shoulders, you know, it kinda gives that angelic feeling which is awesome, and I can definitely see a lot of paladins using it as a transmog. But anyways, let's move on to the chest. So, as you can see, it's a pretty simple design, but it still has some awesome looking details like the collar around the neck, which gives it a bit more depth. And with that being said, let's move on to the belt. The first thing that catches my eyes is the beautiful blue gem in the middle of the model. I like how consistent they are with the whole design. However, there is one thing that I think you guys will be disappointed with. You see, the blue gems around the waist are actually not part of the belt itself, which is kinda sad, especially if you want to use it as a transmog piece. But yeah, overall, it looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the gloves. So, I'm not quite sure what to feel about the design. I mean, there isn't anything special or unique about it. They almost look like a pair of gloves from Uldir and Battle for Azeroth. I mean, sure, it's cool that they added the matching spikes to the shoulders. But if I have to be honest, there isn't anything unique about them. So I wish they had done something more to the model to make it stand out. Now before we continue this video, I have a quick disclaimer, because remember that everything I say in this video are my opinions, and you are more than welcome to yell at me in the comments below if you have other opinions. And with this little disclaimer, let's continue and take a look at the pants. So the pants actually have a lot of great details, like the plates on each side of the leg, and it's a great addition to the overall look. Now the only thing I wish they would change would be the gems around the waist, I would much rather have them to be a part of the belt instead of the pants, but oh well, we can't win every time. Now the last piece I want to show you guys are the boots. On top of the model we have the blue gem that we have seen multiple times, but what I love about this model is that you can actually use it as an individual piece for your own transmogs as well, so that's a big plus. So yeah guys, this was the whole set and it looks incredibly good. The only thing that I had an issue with would be the headpiece, because it looks like a can, but that's pretty much the only thing. Now if I had to give this armor set a rating, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. I mean the R team did a fantastic job and this is just my personal preferences. So let me know in the comments below what you would rate it. Now let's move on to the back attachments. This first model is actually pretty darn cool. It looks like angel wings and it fits perfectly with the whole Kyrian team. Now before we move on to the second attachment, let's enjoy it for a few seconds. Now 
Now the second attachment is a bit more minimalistic, but it still has some pretty interesting pieces on it. We have something that looks like a drop of water in the middle, which could perhaps symbolize the ocean. And then we have the six lines, which could perhaps symbolize the sun. I know, I'm probably overanalyzing it, but the model looks very Egyptian, which is pretty awesome. Now the third and last attachment that you'll be able to get has the same drop of water as the previous one, but this model has them on the top, bottom, left and right, which looks perfect. So yeah guys, these were the three attachments that you'll be able to get if you choose the Kyrian Covenant. And to be honest, I'm so excited to see what else they come up with in the future. And with that being said, let's move on to the next covenant. So, the Night Fae Covenant is in the beautiful zone of Ardenweal. If you choose to go with this covenant, you can get this stunning looking set that kinda looks like Groot from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now the reason why I love these models so much is because they look like they were actually made in the zone. I mean just look at the enchanted wood this set is made of. It's the same wood that grows within Ardenweal, and the same goes for the runes which can be found all over the place. The cool thing is that it actually looks like that the Night Fae people went into the woods and gathered the materials to make the set. And let's be honest guys, sometimes it's easy to forget that we're playing a role playing game and small details like these are actually pretty important. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at all the details, starting with the helm. The top part of the model is actually pretty similar to what the horns look like on the Night Fae NPCs. What I like about these horns is how the bluish color transitions into the wood. And let's be honest guys, the details on this helm are incredible. Just look at all the fine small details in the texture, and let's not forget about the glowing eyes and the swirly rune on the forehead. It's definitely a good looking piece. Luckily the beautiful gradient color continues onto the shoulders as well. From the front view we can see how awesome the geometry is, and that continues to the side of the shoulders as well. The details that can be seen from the sides are absolutely amazing. We have a similar looking rune at the top with some sort of magical power in the middle of the shoulders that is protected by the branches. So yeah, these shoulders are actually pretty darn cool. And on that note, let's move on to the chest. So obviously the first thing that catches my eyes is the magical round circle in the middle of the chest. I wonder if this is anima, I mean it could be something random, but I actually think it might be anima, you know the new power in Shadowlands. Um, if you think it is, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, the rest of the chest piece is actually pretty simple, which is a good thing in my opinion. It balances out the rest of the set. And now let's continue and take a look at the belt. So one thing that I like about this whole set is how they put all the quote unquote complicated things on the top and made it a bit more simple towards the middle. I mean it kinda gives it a nice balance. But let's go back to the belt. It has some nice carvings which are similar to the runes that we saw on the headpiece and shoulders, but I'm actually happy that they didn't make it glow. I'm not sure but I have a feeling that it would be a bit too much, so I'm glad that they kept it simple. With that being said, let's move on to the pants. So, the texture is beautiful and they kept it pretty simple, well, except for the knee pads and the branch around the waist, which is actually a 3D model and not the texture. And yeah, I mean, it's gorgeous, I love the pants, I don't know what else to say. So let's move on to the last piece, which are the boots. This is actually the first piece that I have a problem with. If you look closely, it kinda looks like a toenail, doesn't it? I mean, I get what they were trying to do with the whole design. They probably wanted to make it look like a leaf, but I just don't think they pulled it off. It looks like a toenail, so I hope they do something about it. So yeah guys, this was the full set that you can obtain if you go with the Night Fae Covenant. Overall this set looks gorgeous, minus the boots. And if I have to be honest, I love the individual pieces and the amount of details they've put into them. You know, sometimes WoW models can look pretty random, but they definitely did a great job with this one. So, if I had to give it a rating, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. What do you think about it? Is it good? Is it bad? How would you rate it? Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, let's move on to the back attachments. The first attachment is actually pretty simple. Now remember what I said, simple doesn't always mean bad. Because this is actually a great looking model. It reminds me of big majestic horns and the details are amazing. Just look at the blue particles and the leaves that are growing on the branches. It goes so well with the rest of the set. That being said, let's move on to the second one. The second attachment is pretty unique. I love the colors they are using. And on top of that we have two adorable butterfly beings that are being attracted by some sort of magical source inside of the wooden object. So yeah guys, this model is absolutely amazing.
This model is a little less unique, because it looks like a backpack similar to the one you can buy in Battle for Azeroth. But don't get me wrong, I love the design and the attention to detail. What I mean about that is, if you look closely at the two small pockets, you can see some sort of flower inside of them, which actually grows in Ardenweal. I don't know about you guys, but I love small details like this. Oh, I almost forgot the blanket at the top. Again, a great detail, because trust me, once you see this zone, you will want to picnic with your friends. Also, before we move on, is it just me or does this model kind of look like a sled? I mean, if you rotate the model, it kind of looks like a sled is carrying the big blue object in the middle. Or maybe I'm going insane. Either way, let me know in the comments. This covenant is located in the awesome zone of Revendred. It's heavily gothic inspired with vampires, gargoyles and so on. So basically everything you would expect from a gothic inspired zone. And this can definitely be seen throughout this whole set with the red colors, the helm, the gargoyle on top of the shoulders, etc. So aesthetically speaking, they did a great job with this set. But anyways, enjoy the b-roll and I will talk to you in a few seconds. So yeah, like I said, it's an awesome looking set that I would love to get in Shadowlands. But let's go ahead and check out the individual pieces, starting with the helm. So it's definitely an interesting piece. And if we look at the side of the helm, you can see something that kind of looks like the ears of a gargoyle, similar to the ones on the shoulders. So I think that's what they kind of went for when they did this model. Besides that, we have some other awesome looking details like the glowing eyes that looks like flames and of course the purple gem in the middle of the forehead. So like I said, definitely a good looking piece. Now let's move on to the shoulders. Luckily the shoulders don't disappoint, and I don't think I've seen anything like this in the game before, which makes this piece even better. Now from the front view we can see some sort of red particles going upwards, which looks awesome. However, the best things on these shoulders can be seen from the side. I love the gargoyles with the red flames coming from the eyes, and it even looks like it's sitting on some sort of royal chair, which makes it even better. Definitely one of my favorite shoulders so far. But anyways, let's move on to the chest. So the chest piece looks pretty basic with some good looking colors and details. Obviously it goes well with the rest of the set, but I kinda wish we had more depth instead of it being a completely flat texture. But overall it looks pretty good from the front and back. But anyways, let's move on to the belt. So it kinda looks like a bat or some sort of bird. If you look closely, you can see the wings, the tail and the head. I don't know if I'm overanalyzing this piece, but it looks awesome nonetheless. And I love the fact that they put the red gem in the middle of the belt that matches with the helm. So yeah, a great looking piece. Now, the gloves are pretty darn cool as well. I love that they added some depth to the model, and that's exactly what I meant when I said I kinda wish they would add some more depth to the chest piece, instead of it just being a flat texture. But yeah, the gloves are pretty good. And it's nice to see that they added the same gem on the gloves that we saw on the other pieces as well. But I kinda wish it would glow some more. Now another cool detail can be found on the bottom of the gloves, where we have the sharp knuckles. So trust me, no one is gonna mess with you. But anyways, let's move on to the pants. It's kinda hard to see what's going on with the pants because of the belt. However, the two plates that you can see on each side are actually part of the pants and not the belt. And yeah, it looks good. And with that being said, let's move on to the final piece, which are the boots. I love this model. I know it's not as unique because it's kind of similar to the Wolfrunt leather boots you could get, but it goes so well with the rest of the set. So I really like it. So this set is awesome and probably one of my favorite ones so far. Everything goes so well together and has some pretty unique pieces like the shoulders. Now, if I had to give this set a rating, I would probably end up giving it a 10 out of 10, but that's my opinion. I would love to know what you guys would rate it and what you like about it and what you dislike about it. And with that being said, let's move on to the back attachments. So the first attachment you will be able to get is pretty good. We have some sort of head in the middle, which reminds me of the NPCs you will encounter in Revendreth. And of course the two laterns on each side. It's very gothic-like and goes perfectly with the rest of the set. The second attachment you can get is as good or better than the first one. It has six cool looking swords on the back and it goes so 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 good with the rest of the set. The third and final attachment you'll be able to get is a tombstone with some candles on top and a big chain. 
I'm not sure how healthy it is for your pack, but it definitely looks cool. So yeah guys, these were the three attachments you'll be able to get from this covenant. Now let's move on to the last covenant. So, the last and final covenant is called the Necrolord and is located in Maldraxxus. As you can see, this set is all about bones, which makes a lot of sense considering what the zone is all about. Now, the armor set itself is actually pretty simple, but it does have a few cool looking pieces like the head and shoulders, especially because of the cool looking particles. But anyways, I will leave you for a few seconds and I'll be right back. So yeah guys, as I said it's pretty simple, but I know some of you will love the simplicity and that's completely fine, personally I think it's a bit too simple. But anyways, let's move on to the individual pieces, starting with the helm. So this is actually one of the pieces that I love. The model is very good, I love that they used a skull beneath the surface, so you can see the teeth and glowing eyes and so on. I also like the horns with the particles above, it, it just looks gorgeous, a really good helm. Now, the shoulders are pretty cool looking as well. We have the bones sticking out with the same particles we had on the helm, and it kinda looks like that poor souls are trapped within this set and flying around the head and shoulders, but I'm probably completely wrong with that detail. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the chest piece. So, it's kinda simple, but it does have some nice details, and they even added that layer on top of the texture. So the chest piece you can see is actually a 3D model on top of the texture, which, which is actually pretty cool. Also, the bones kinda looks like the ribs on a human, which is pretty sick. Now moving on to the belt, we can see the gem in the middle, and besides that, it's pretty simple. I mean, we see some bones and the black color that the rest of the set has, so sadly nothing too special in my opinion. Now if we move on to the gloves, they are actually pretty decent. I love how it has multiple layers, like you have a layer that's covering your fingers, then you have a layer that's covering your hands, and of course your wrist as well. So yeah, I really like this model because it's so different to what we are used to. So if we continue to the pants, we see the same two plates and knee pads that I think we've seen on each and every single set in this video, but I still like it because it does give some depth to the model. And let's be honest guys, the bones are kinda cool. Now the rest of the pants are kinda hard to see from the front view because of the belt, but if we look at it from behind, we see some of the nice details that match with the rest of the set. But anyways, let's move on to the last piece, which are the boots. So what I like about these boots is that they actually look heavy, which is a good thing. Besides that, we have the bones at the top and bottom and some depth, which is pretty awesome. So yeah guys, it's a pretty simple set, you either love it or hate it. Now if I had to rate it, I would probably give it a 6 to 7 out of 10, because we have some awesome looking pieces at the top, but it gets a bit too simple towards the bottom. But as always, I would love to hear what you guys think about it, so let me know in the comments below. With that being said, let's move on to the attachments. So the first one is pretty decent, with a flag on top and four bones sticking out, and the middle part kind of looks like a spline, and I do love the depth on this model with the multiple layers, so a thumbs up for this attachment. Now the second attachment is way better in my opinion, it basically looks like you have wings on your back made out of bones, which is pretty darn cool. The last attachment you can get is way different compared to the first two, the model still has bones of course, but they added some three amazing looking crystals, a big one in the middle and two small ones hovering on the side, and I love the animations and the glowing particles, so definitely my favorite back attachment from this covenant, and it even makes this set look a lot better in my opinion. So yeah guys, this was quite a long video, but I had a ton of fun making it. The armor sets we previewed are amazing, and I'm so happy that we are finally getting something new and exciting like the back attachments. But anyways guys, let me know if I talked a bit too much in this video. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you got this far in the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Because trust me, you don't want to miss out on the rest of these armor sets. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.